this is a little demonstration with the four aces, okay? Now, the four aces uh, are very universally known. When you ask anyone to think of cards, most often they will think or picture the four aces because they are just so universally known. And for that reason, magicians like to use them a lot for doing magic. For instance, one of the most famous tricks with the aces happens like this. When you give them a spin, the aces will turn over or flip over one at a time. And as you can see, the ace of clubs has just um, flipped over. We'll try it with a second one this time. That's a second spin, and the ace of diamonds has turned over. That's ace number two. Uh, we'll try for a, another one now. Let's try for the spade, the ace of spades. Give them a spin, and yep, there is the ace of spades. That just leaves uh, one to go, the ace of hearts. Though, having the ace of spades turn face up, this does get a bit redundant, because it is ace number three after all, but um, we will try something different with the ace of hearts. Uh, if I give this ace a little rub on the ace of spades, now that one turns into an ace of spades. In fact, with just a snap, now all the aces become the ace of spades, with the exception of one. One is still face down, which is, of course, the missing ace of hearts. Now having three aces of spades in any card game would definitely get you in trouble, so we'll get rid of one of those just for safety. And when we do that, something strange happens because now all the aces go back to being different. But of course, after they've flipped over so much and changed so much, they're never really the same aces, and uh, these are definitely not the same aces as before. And of course, at this stage, you can take a look at all of these cards. Thank you.